Hello and welcome to News and Design, Transportation TV spotlight on developments in the world of transportation engineering and design. The primary reason automobiles crash can be found sitting directly behind the steering wheel. We started the design for this project, well, actually 14 years ago, um, but the actual intensive work started about five or six years ago. Uh, we have a whole team of contractors, Virginia Tech and, uh, is the lead on um, managing the overall program, and what we are collecting is a very large amount of data that is focused on the driver. It's called the Naturalistic Driving Study, or NDS the largest and most comprehensive examination of driver behavior ever undertaken. If you think about the driving task as kind of a system that involves the car and the road, the environment and the driver, the driver is the most important part of that system from a safety point of view. And it's the part of the system we knew the least about. So this naturalistic driving method gives us an opportunity to actually see how people really drive so that we have information not only about crashes but about near crashes and about ordinary driving, what makes safe driving, not just what makes unsafe driving. So it's four petabytes. Of, of data, which is a very large amount of data. It's extremely diverse types of data, so it will be a real challenge to use it, but it will give us information we've never had before, and the idea is that we will find innovations in highway safety that we never would have been able to have before. Brock runs the Transportation Research Board's Strategic Highway Research Program 2, known as SHARP 2. Part of its mission is to support research and programs that focus on safety and prevent or reduce the severity of highway crashes. NDS includes more than 3,000 volunteer drivers from their teens to their 70s whose actions are being recorded with high-tech sensors and on videotape as they travel more than 30 million miles. Data can be linked to associate driving behavior with the roadway environment and researchers will have access to information about crash histories, traffic and weather conditions, work zones, and active highway safety campaigns. The data collection phase stops at the end of 2013, marking the end of a major investment of time, money, and a lot more. This was something that took a lot of vision and commitment and actually um, daring, I would say courage, to tell you the truth, of the state DOTs. The reason they did that, the reason they were willing to make that investment was because they want to save thousands and thousands of lives. Thanks to TRB's Ann Brock for being our guest this month. If you have questions for Ann or a suggestion for the show, send us an email to tdorsey at ashdo.org. Thanks for watching News and Design on Ashdo's Transportation TV.